This is Federal District, and you are watching Heritage Hip Hop. Peace and blessings, everybody. Welcome back to Heritage Hip Hop. And I got with me an all star ensemble. And one thing about all stars means they better than you. And we're going to find out why. Please introduce yourself from the right to the left. It's your boy, Never Out God's Gift in the World's Future, the Devil's Advocate, Disrespect, and I Shoot Your Brooklyn Finest, LI represented NYC Basketball, Max B. Apprentice. So focus, I finish the sentence. So God look like God look right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy King Fuck Law and Order. I place the order to make your life shorter. Stonehenge General, Federal Captain. You know how we doing it, man. Y'all always got something going on. What's good is your girl, Lulu, first lady of the team, Federal District Empire. You already know the vibes. Yeah, and last but not least, it's Miss Carmella Cream. You think slick queen. Every nigga dream. I'm part of Cream Couture. Couture not here, but I'm representing for the two of us. Shout out to Couture, definitely. And that's what it is. So, hey, buddy. My man, welcome back to uh, Heritage Hip Hop. It's a pleasure to meet everybody here. So, unlike typical hip hop shows and interviews, we go in depth because we want to know about you, your skill set, and why you do what you do. So, believe me, you're not going to hear about love and hip hop. I don't care what you like to eat. I don't care. What I care about is you and your connection to hip hop. So, Nim, since you're the face that everybody remembers, shout out to our people in England, IG. I want to ask you something. Since being a heritage hip hop, what's changed? Uh, I got I got first. I got to shout out the people that's not here before we go for. I got to shout out Federal District's Lieutenant Topic NYC. That's my bro. Uh, Tools not here. Um, in depth, you understand? So I want to shout them out. But what's changed is that we got a whole new team. You know what I'm saying? Everything's moving. You understand? We're working hard. You understand? It's, it's real different here now. You understand? We focus artists. That's focused on the craft and how to uh, make good music. You know what I mean? So that's the big change here right now. In the late 90s to the early 2000s, the record label was the flagship. Not only that changed lives, but became the benchmark of hip hop. Because if you didn't have a solid team, you didn't really have a name. Right. We had Cash Money, we had No Limit, we had Rough Riders. You had the hieroglyphics. I mean, it goes on and on. What does the name federal mean? And what does it what does it stand for when somebody says I am federal district records? It means family over everything. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's what the F stands for family. You know, um, that's what I strive in. Um, I've been part of a lot of a lot of mainstream teams, a couple, not a lot, and I seen what broke them up. And um, that's what, you know, I would not have break up my team, you know what I'm saying? So when people say federal, I, I say the S stands for family. You know what I mean, so. Part of being federal means you are top notch. Cause like, in general life, we have state laws and then we have federal laws. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you ever cross the federal, that means the world is on your ass. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> what does it mean to have federal you know on your saying? ass? I'm a top, I, I mean, I like King Floyd answer that. <laughs> being federal means that you gotta be in the best of the best. We not, we not, Wasting no time with no half-assing in the game. You gotta be on your bars. You gotta be on your, especially branding yourself. You know what I'm saying? We just a different, a different caliber. You know how they say the cream rises to the top. Well, federal is just all of the cream that rose to the top, and we all just culminated together to make this powerhouse team. And we shutting it down and shit. <laughs> That's dope. Cause in hip hop, the group and team dynamic is actually lost. J. Cole's trying to bring it back now with the Dream Chasers as a project. Mm -hmm. We've seen what happened with Pro Era and all of them, but the team aspect has been systematically broken down in hip hop to the point where even the old school veterans are like, we need more groups because y'all are the lifeline of hip hop. I want to ask Lulu a question. Miss Lulu, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. What does it mean to be backed by individuals who can't only, who can not only just see your front to see your side, your back, and the field of view ahead of you to make sure that you are being put in the right position to succeed. What does that mean as an artist? Um, to me, that screams loyalty, belief, faith. You get into this game and you got a lot of con artists in here. You got a lot of people that is just here for the bread. 
um, I feel like you have to love the culture. You have to love the culture. You have to know about, know your history, know about hip hop. For people to believe in you and to believe in your dreams and stuff like that, it's real hard to find that today in hip hop. Like, you can't trust everybody. Like, you always walk through a door, and how you walk through that door is how you treat it for the duration. So, when Federal came in my life, at the craziest time, it was just like, uh, I got, I, I really, I really got folks that work as hard as me mm -hmm. and are focused, mm -hmm. focused and love music. Okay. So that's super dope to me. Miss, what's your name again? I'm sorry. I'm Carmella. You can Carmella. call me Carmella or Mella, whichever one you want. Okay. <laughs> I'll ask you a question. Yes. Now that the team also has you, what makes you such a strength and makes your team better that you're there that other teams are missing? Okay, well, I'm gonna say that I feel like I'm like seven different rappers in one. Oh. Because I'm so versatile, I sing, I dance, I act, I rap, and then on top of it, I feel like the skills that I possess, the, the way I'm able to make awesome hooks and make nice joints for music and stuff when we put our brains together it's no stopping us we want to go to the top me for personally as myself they don't have duos no more you don't see people teaming up with two girls or two guys that's back in the day and from what you said earlier i know for a fact that they want that back with me and my partner couture i'm the thin slick queen she's the bbw princess so we giving you the best of both worlds on the stage at once. So we got all of them. Got the guys who like the slim chicks, the guys who like the big chicks, and put it together. And when we combine all of that with federal, it's, you already know what's going to happen. <laughs> Changing the game. Changing the game. So shut, then, not change it, shut it down. Oh, you shut the game federal, federal shut down. down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll touch on that. So being the leader of such a vast crew, and we're missing some members too. Yeah. I really was looking forward to the topic because I had something to ask them yeah. quite naturally, like I have for you, Flo. And Lulu, just the same. I just met you, so hopefully we'll bob and bring it out. Let's go. Go right there. Being the head of this, what is it like to have such power and then and to know that you're in control of it and you can unleash an army of ears upon a game that people really don't know exists? Um, I don't feel like I'm the head of anything. I feel like we all the head of it. You know what I mean? We all, we all the, the, the kings and the queens of this thing. We all knights at a round table. But to kind of answer your question, to, to be around such great talent and to be like, yo, sick them. And they do the same thing to me. They could be like, little be like them, sick them. You know what I mean? Because we all got the same power. Um, it's great to know that I had, it's like having Anytime that I know I need to fall back or anything, I know these people got my back. And um, that's something I've never had in um, a team, family. So, you know, I, it feels great, you know what I'm saying, to know that all of us got that power. You know what I mean? Because Lulu might tell us to go get, and we on it. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's good. We, we watch each other's back. It's nothing like having that. Yeah, from what I've seen from the past, to where it is now, even y'all body language is a little different. Mm -hmm. And even seeing some of the older videos like we did earlier to now, it's just a little, little difference in you. And we're gonna break down certain subtle differences, but then we're gonna talk about the game as well. But here's one thing that I think most people miss when it comes to having a team, rather than just being an artist. Being an artist means that, just that, you do art. Being a team means you're a body, a systematic, uh, a systematic, flow of us of something to form a system for a purpose so you are purposeful artists that are changing the narrative what is it that you want to change individually everybody answer what is it that you want to change about the game and how are you doing it um <laughs> me the, the i just want to bring back the real music you know what i mean and and uh and, and get away from that that whack music that music that people putting out Gibberish. And yeah, and I, I mean, yeah, that's the best way to say it, a bunch of gibberish. And um, that's what, you know, I have plenty of artists I could vibe with and try to bring them in, but these guys are, are real music. You understand what I'm saying? I done, I done listened to Lulu before she came to Federal. 
You know what I mean? I done listened to King Flo. I done, I done li listened to Topic NYC. I done listened to Cream Couture. You understand? And um, and each of them is something special. You understand? So, with that being said, you know, it would only make sense. You know, I, I done listened to Def's music, you know, um, before he came over here to Federal. I vibe with his music. And then I hit him up. You know what I mean? So, you know, it got to be something about you. You know, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Just to piggyback off what Nimrod was saying, you know, the game, the game nowadays lacks soul. It lacks, mm -hmm. like, everything is so computerized down to the beats. Mm -hmm. Everything is so robotic and it's no, it's cookie cutter now. Mm -hmm. So I think what, I think what Federal is really doing is taking it out of that and then bringing it back to, you know, it's a different vibration. And you can even see it when, when we were in the studio and you record and everything is not one block. It's, it got dynamics to it and it's and we bring in change we try and change that narrative and bring it back to where you can have a feeling i remember listening to some some songs and being put in a time and place and my memories going back to that time and place that's what i want to do with music for other people so they could hear a song and be like yo i remember feeling like that you know what i'm saying i remember those times and those places i want people to be able to relate to music rather than Doing the thing for clout, you know what I'm saying? Just for real. <laughs> but everything is real. Everything is yeah. real. I remember, I remember when I was yeah. in jail, I heard that, uh, I, I wasn't a J fan, so when I was in jail, I heard that reason without joint. I remember exactly what I was doing when I heard it. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of songs like that, even big, you know? when I was on the street, you know what I mean? Or, or T.I., you understand what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, that's a, I dig that. That's how I want people to hear my stuff. I want them to. They wanted to be like something in their life that was a change, you understand? Mm -hmm. I, I, I tell them all the time, we superheroes. You understand what I'm saying? We all super, we, we're superheroes because we have the, the power to affect somebody's life. And that's a superhero, you understand me? And, and, they, and they, I don't know if, if some of these artists on this team know the power they have. You understand what I'm saying? So we have the power to change a person's mood. We have the power to alter a person's mind. That's rock a superhero. That's a superhero. Yeah, yeah the power yeah. to rock the party. Without yeah. without MCs and DJs, we wouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Without I, the culture. Yeah, that's a I just think. I think honestly, for me, I, I want I want the change to be how how people look at each other when it comes to in the music industry. Like, I, I, my my bitch is a big bitch, and I feel like a lot of times when we meet people, their discretion goes on because of an appearance. Don't tell me because of an appearance that my bitch ain't dope enough to shut down the industry. Mm -hmm. My bitch got balls for days. She better than half of these rappers that's out right now. And I feel like me too, the same way. I got balls for days. I'm dope when it comes to lyrics and writing down my shit. I don't freestyle on top of my head too good, but give me a pen and a paper and I'm gonna destroy you. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So I want people to look like that. Stop looking at social media numbers. See my talent. See what I'm able to give you. Listen to the words that I'm speaking. See that my words and my meanings have power and that the shit, little shit I'm saying out of my limits could kind of make your day a little bit brighter. I don't give a fuck if I got 20,000 followers at the end of the day. Those 20,000 followers could be bought. You feel me? They could be bought. My talent is skin deep, is, is natural deep. I was born with this. I ain't have to learn it, try to make it. I was born with this. So I feel like industries and record labels and whatnot, the change that needs to be focused on, screw this social media because it's fake. That's Come right. see me. That's right. Tell me to walk up in your office and spit some shit. Guarantee you won't sign me when I'm done. Real talk. That's right. That's how I feel. That's the change that needs to happen. I concur. You're gonna stop right there.